Welcome back, folks. Be sure 94 here. We are here at Bash at the Beach 2002 WCW Lives 2002 Save of Total Extreme Wrestling. We are in front of 17,000 people at US Bank Arena, and we are going to have our opening hype package for the pay per view. Um, I used Abyss, Rey Mysterio, Mike Awesome, Guido, Booker T, Rob Van Dam, Chris Canyon, and Sting. Uh, prior to starting the real pay-per-view here, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching the content, liking the videos, and commenting. Uh, some news and notes for the channel before we start the pay-per-view. Um, we're going to continue this every Sunday uh, with WCW, but just as an alert, as of March 24th, MLB The Show 23 will be coming out, and there will be videos, a lot of videos coming your way of that once it comes out. So look forward to that. But enough talking about other things, let's get to Bash at the Beach 2002. In our opening contest, and about to head good heat and decent wrestling, the Dudley Boys defeat Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow in 942 by two falls to one after winning the first with the final fall happening when Devon Dudley pinned Bam Bam Bigelow with a Death Valley drop. Um... Bam Bam Bigelow was the weak link here. Bam Bam at 53, Shane at 67, Bubba at 73, Devon at 62. Storyline has ended, so this feud is officially over now. And obviously the Dudley show excellent chemistry. 64 on our opening match of the show. Uh, good stuff on all four guys. This is the first time that I've booked a show and Bam Bam Bigelow was definitely a problem here because I couldn't put him in a longer match than 8 minutes. Um, so we might be having to address that situation going forward. Also, the Dudleys get a great win here on Bash at the Beach um, as they are ascending up the tag team division ranks. Um, and Shane Douglas did his thing, obviously had a great performance. So that's all I got there. 64 segment rating, good stuff at all four men. We get a backstage promo from James Mitchell talking right to the camera about Rey Mysterio with Abysses in the background um, getting ready for the match. And Mitchell says, tonight will be the final time you see Rey Mysterio here in professional wrestling. Abyss took him out once. Mysterio got lucky and survived um, on Nitro. And the last few weeks, yeah, he's had the one up on Abyss, but that's the worst thing that could have happened for him. Because what happened is now Abyss is pissed off. And the last thing you want is a six foot five, 350 pound pissed off monster. 70 rating on the promo. James Mitchell did great on the microphone. We get a feud recap of the Hurricane and Ken Shamrock and how we got to this match. Uh, for weeks now, Shamrock's been trying to injure rookies and lower mid-card guys, and the Hurricane's been making the save, um, and Ken Shamrock is officially sick of it. Um, he challenged the Hurricane to the match tonight. Uh, we're going to see who can prevail, uh, the, the, the superhero or the most dangerous man in the world. Let's see what we get. In about the head good heat and decent wrestling, Ken Shamrock defeats the Hurricane at 807 by stoppage when the Hurricane could not continue. Both men are 55. Storyline has advanced. The Hurricane was really off his game, and the announcing quality left in the match. Um, the way I put this was I put this as a uh, submission win, technically, um, but without the Hurricane tapping, Shamrock to look strong, um, as well as not diminish the Hurricane superhero kind of persona here. Um, and I think that's a good thing what we did here. 56 overall in the rating. Um, Shamrock gets a big win on Bash at the Beach. So that's good there. Let's move on. We get a backstage promo from the Guido explaining to Super Crazy and Reagan's Zoss that tonight they're on their own as he needs Berlin in his corner for the WCW IC's championship match. Um, Reagan's Zoss and Super Crazy are not thrilled about this, but they said they're going to make Guido proud and that they don't need Berlin to retain their WCW Tag Team Championship. Um, all the storylines have advanced. Guido clearly improvised well. 72 overall on the promo. In a good match, the Steiner brothers defeat the Militia in 13-14 when Rick Steiner pinned Super Crazy with a top rope bulldog. Steiner brothers are your new WCW Tag Team Champions. In terms of in-ring work, Scott Steiner was head and shoulders above everybody else. Rick Steiner was the weak link. Rick of 51, Scott 81, both crazy and all 70s. Both storylines have advanced. Scott Steiner and Rick Steiner have great chemistry, and the match got the crowd hotter. We have new WCW Tag Team Champions. The Steiner brothers finally have done it. 
and they defeated the Militia, uh, 70 rating overall on the match. And just post-match, the tag team champions are celebrating in the ring as the Steiner brothers have reclaimed gold here in World Championship Wrestling as it's been a long journey since they've reunited to become WCW Tag Team Champions. 69 rating on that. We get a backstage promo from Chris Canyon uh, talking about his match with Sting tonight and that he plans on embarrassing the icon Sting just like he did last month where he picked up the hard-fought victory at Great American Bash. He says that Sting, he wants to talk the talk, but tonight, you know what? I'm going to embarrass you and in front of 17,000 people, Sting, I'm going to make you submit. 69 overall rating on the promo. We get a feud recap between both men um, and how we got to this uh, matchup. So Chris Canyon and Sting uh, started as mind games. Then it got personal. And then when Canyon cheated to beat Sting, Sting obviously um, has started to clap back at Canyon. And now they've been back and forth for weeks, get leading to this matchup here tonight. 69 rating on that. And in about that had fantastic heat and good wrestling, Sting defeats Chris Canyon 13-15 by submission with a Scorpion Deathlock. Chris Canyon has 69, Sting has 75, Sterling has advanced in the match with the crowd hotter, 74 overall on the match. So Sting got Chris Canyon to finally tap to the Scorpion Deathlock. Um, I'm not sure if this feud's over yet, we'll stay tuned for that, but both guys had a great showing and this is the type of match that I was hoping for out of these two guys. Good stuff out of both men. Um, Post-match, uh, the crowd is chanting that you tapped out to Canyon as Sting celebrates his win after making Canyon tap. We get a backstage promo from the Rhodes family, Dustin and Dusty, saying that the respect that they have uh, for professional wrestling is something Jeff Jarrett and BG James will never have. And it's a shame that both men are such um, family men in this business, but yet somehow it fell off the tree with those two. And tonight, Dustin Rhodes is going to embarrass Jeff Jarrett and showcase why the Rhodes family is one of the most important and legacy-filled um, families in professional wrestling. 58 rating on that. We got a promo, or a feud recap, about how we got to this point, how Dustin Rhodes was a part of the dynasty, how Jeff Jarrett turned on him when they attacked Dusty, and how we got to this matchup here tonight. And about the head great heat and good wrestling, Jeff Jarrett defeats Dustin Rhodes in 10.09 by pinfall with a handful of tights. Um, the way we're actually going to write this is that Jeff Jarrett hit him with a cowbell to lead to our next match at Clash of the Champions. Uh, but Jeff Jarrett and Dustin both had 65. The storm has advanced. Uh, Dusty Rhodes did some good work at ringside. He announced the Kawhi Lift in the match. 66 overall rating here. Uh, yes, Jeff gets the win, but I don't think Dustin Rhodes loses anything of momentum with this loss. So, moving forward here. We get a feud recap of the Guido and Mike Awesome and how we got to this matchup. Remember, Mike Awesome defeated the Guido for the U.S. Championship two weeks ago on Monday Nitro in a shocking win over Guido. And then, obviously, the week after Guido wanted his rematch and Mike Awesome said he'd give it to him tonight. Um, and remember, Guido doesn't have Ray Gonzalez and Super Crazy out here tonight, but he does have Berlin with him. So let's see if Mike Awesome can beat the odds. And in about the head, superb wrestling and great heat. Mike Awesome defeats the Guido in 1737 by pinfall with an awesome bomb. Mike Awesome def makes defense number one of the U.S. Championship. Guido in 80, Awesome in 83. Storylines have advanced. Mike Awesome benefited from a hot new move. 80 overall on the matchup. Great match out of these two guys. This feud's finally over. And Mike Awesome has retained his WCW United States Championship over the Guido and can move on. 70 overall, 73 overall for the post-match celebration for Awesome. We get a feud recap of Rhino and Lance Storm. Uh, Rhino obviously started this whole thing when he gored Lance Storm through the barricade, and Lance Storm has wanted revenge on him ever since. And last week on Nitro, Storm kind of got one up on Rhino by post-match super kicking him in the face and leaving him laying, and that's how we got to this matchup here tonight. And about the head, great wrestling and good heat. Rhino defeats Lance Storm in 9.59 by pinfall with a gore. Lance Storm is 77. Rhino is 70. Storyline has ended um, as Rhino and Lance Storm are going to go 
and do other things. 76 overall in the match, which is very shocking, but I will take it. Um, good stuff out of both men as Rhino is starting to move up on the card now. Um, going forward into Starcade season. So, well, love that for us. We get a bad stage one from Booker T and Charmel about Rob Van Dam. And Booker T says that, let's not forget that last year I carried this company on my back. And Rob Van Dam, all you were was the U.S. champion. And now you want to step up to arguably the best wrestler in the world. And tonight I'm going to showcase why I held that WCW championship for over six months. And why you have never beat WCW champion. 70 segment rating there. Stein has advanced. Get a feud recap on how we got here. Uh, when Booker T shockingly returned and attacked Rob Van Dam, uh, obviously caused some issues. Um, and Rob Van Dam wants revenge. And last week, uh, Booker T was able to pull off the upset. Or Rob Van Dam was able to pull off the upset, and Booker T was pissed. And that's how we got to this matchup here tonight. In an exceptional match, Rob Van Dam defeats Booker T in 1255 by a pinfall with a five star frog splash. Booker T is 78, Rob Van Dam a 90. Stoyan has advanced and gained heat. The match deserved better color commentary. That's a first. Uh, 83 segment rating. Great match out of these two guys. Um, I fully expected this though, but I will take it. Um, and Rob Van Dam picks up a big pay-per-view victory over a former WCW champion in Booker T. We get to a feud recap of Rey Mysterio and Abyss. Um, this all started when Abyss became, crowned himself number one contender for Rey Mysterio's WCW championship and then destroyed him to become champion. Rey Mysterio has been fighting back ever since to try to get that opportunity at the WCW championship one more time. And that's what he has here tonight. 70 overall segment. In an exceptional match, Abyss defeats Rey Mysterio in 12 3 by pinfall with a black hole slam. Abyss makes defense number two of his WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Rey Mysterio 91, Abyss is 70. Uh, lack of psychology, that's fine. 81 overall segment rating. Abyss gets the victory, though, as he stands tall over a fallen Rey Mysterio and is still your WCW champion. Uh, 69 overall rating for the final segment there. Uh, let's see what we get for an overall rating for the show. I'm expecting at least a 76. 78, even better. We increased our popularity in 34 regions. This was a fantastic pay-per-view, I think, from top to bottom. Hopefully you guys agree. Uh, make sure we're liking this video, guys. We're trying to hit our goals to where we can, you know, really start growing this thing. Uh, make sure you're commenting if you want to see something in the save that I haven't done yet. Um, and next Sunday, you'll see another Nitro as we build towards Clash of the Champions, which we'll talk about as we get closer to it. But overall, guys, an amazing Bash of the Beach. Thank you guys for all coming through, and we'll see you next week.